friends, this is Praval Sharma from Sharma Ji Technical. I am doing this video in English for those subscribers who are not able to understand Hindi language and the purpose of this uh, video in English as well because I am the one who was doing the first first one in the YouTube channel who is doing the unboxing for the ZT Blade QLX 4G. So uh, this is the I have reboxed this because I have already done the real unboxing from my Hindi review. You can just check out the link from the YouTube description. But for those who want to like the video in English, hear it for you guys. So this is the box pack for the ZT Blade QLUX. Let's quickly go through with the information on the box pack. It says uh, ZT Blade QLUX, Q and LUX are separated. Color is black. Quantity is one, one handset, one battery, one travel charger, one USB cable, one number of earphone, warranty card and a user guide. MRP is mentioned at 5999 but we got this on 4999 from Amazon. And if you want to buy, buy you use my link from the YouTube description of Amazon. It will help me in running my channel. So it is imported by Cloudtel in Bangalore, manufactured in June 2015 and manufactured by ZT Corporation South South Xinjiang, China. Month and everything is there. Saw values are 0.959 weight per kilogram. And there are some specifications mentioned here. It is mentioned Android 4.4.4, but actually it is 4.4.4. We have already checked it. CPU is uh, MTK Media Deck 6732M quad core 1.3 gigahertz. Screen is 4.5 FWVGA. No, it is not 480 or not 780. It is FWVGA plus IPS. Camera is 8 megapixel is rear camera, 5 megapixel is front camera, battery is 1 GB RAM, 8 GB of ROM, battery is 2200 mAh and there are dual SIM slots. The one SIM is only 2G and the other one is 4G, 3G and 2G. So let's go to the box pack. Here is the main content headset. It is a 4.5 inch FWVG screen. Color is black. Let's check out the what, are, what other we have in uh, this. We have warranty card, user guide, and we have uh, earphones. Battery was that, but battery is all I already uh, installed in the phone. And in this box we have uh, we have a power brick and a data cable. Power brick is a design like a new design, so it's a different design what you, what you usually found in the phones. And it is a cable. It is a little short cable but this is how it is from a budget oriented phone so okay so this was the box contents let's go to the main content of zd blade q that is the handset let's pick let's go to the physical overview it is 4.5 inch uh, fwvg screen here is the earpiece in call earpiece you can have a look at in the silver colors and next is the light sensors and then it is the 5 megapixel front facing camera and below side you can see the three touch capacity buttons they are always light up they do not light up when you touch them but they are giving haptic feedback below there is nothing only the primary mic and on the left side they have provided the usb uh, micro otg slot micro micro to a micro usb slot and above is 3.5mm jack, right side they have a power uh, power button and the volume rockers. Behind of the phone we have a single LED flash, 8 megapixel front pressing cam, 8 megapixel rear camera, ZTE logo and the speaker out vent. Let's quickly open this and I'll show you what is inside the phone. You can see uh, there is a slot for micro SD card, you can store it up to 32GB. SIM 1 and SIM 2, SIM 1 slot supports 4G, 3G, 2G and SIM 2 supports only 2G and the battery is 2200 mAh. Somewhere it is mentioned, yeah, here it is. So I have already powered it to power up the phone and I'll show you how it is open. So open, you need to press long and green circle will become and then you can unlock it. So the UI is a uh, little, uh, I'll say a little uh, bad in viewing angle because it is FWVGA because we are usually having 720p in the budget range now nowadays. For example of Infocus M2 which provides 720p of screen and then it is very good. 
so okay let's go to the settings quickly and I'll show you what is inside the settings moving to about phone you can find the system updates manager status legal information model number Zeti blade Qlux 4G Android 4.4.4 it supports KitKat, so it is really good and we are not aware that if we will be getting lollipop or not as of the moment and there are some other information let's check the status uh, let's say is battery not charging battery level 53 similarity information Bluetooth and IP address for our wireless moving to the storage uh, we get around 5 GB of storage out of 8 GB and from that 4.7 GB is available and you can install uninstall many of the pre-installed pre, -pre -installed applications this card support SD card and OTG I have tried but it is not accepting I'll quickly show you once again in this video that it is not accepting I have put this OTG this is my Strontium USB cum card reader cum OTG and you can see it is not detected so we'll see how it comes after the update if there is a if there is a there is any update okay so let's move into apps uh, there are a lot of apps pre-installed if you like you can you can uninstall them and if you want to keep them you can keep it if you uninstall them you will have more space in your phone so you will see that 4.7 GB is available 339 MB is used from these apps you can remove it and you can some you can un you can disable some of the Google default applications just like this um, Chrome. You can click here and disable it if you don't like or if you don't want to use it. Talking to the connectivity options, this have dual SIM as I told that one SIM supports 4G, 3G, 2G, and the second SIM support only 2G. Wireless connectivity is there, Bluetooth is there. Uh, T3 Bluetooth hotspot is there, VPN is there, mobile network is there. I'll quickly show you how you can set up the networks. So this is the preferred network mode. You can select 4G, 3G or 2G for the SIM first. And SIM second, you cannot select anything because it is default 2G. And there are hard key options. Currently this key reflects as a back key. But if you want to change it to this one, you can select the below, below option here and you can select it. Moving to the camera interface, the camera interface is similar to the Google's camera. We have a picture clicker and a video reviewer, video video creator. There are some modes, smiley mode, HDR mode and other modes which are available, which are pre-installed. Flash is there. There are some, we have taken some of the sample pictures. This is the sample picture from the front facing camera. These two pictures and these next two pictures are from uh, the rear camera. I see a bug here because the rear camera is taking some green green line in the below of the picture that is not good. So I will report it to ZTE that how this can be fixed in some some update or what. I will leave these pictures after an end of the video so that you can check the picture quality. So this is in the quick unboxing video in English if you want to see the detailed video and if you understand a little bit of Hindi you can check out my Hindi um, Hindi unboxing review where I have put more details and some more information and if you like this video just give a thumbs up put the like click on the like button share this video and subscribe to my channel for latest videos so and if you have already gone through my channel trainer you will find that I mostly do the Hindi reviews but I did this because I am the first one who is uh, doing the unboxing review for this phone on YouTube. Till now there is no unboxing video is uploaded. So this is for you guys. Thank you very much for liking, sharing and subscribing to my channel. We will meet in next video if I thought to do in an English version. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye.